Oh man, what a refreshing article. Wow, this is really going to piss a lot of people, a lot of people off. Let's go. What is going on, guys? This dealer here back again, talking about an article that surprisingly destroys the PlayStation 4 by calling out all of the things that its competition does better. Now, all of these things, of course, are factual. I've talked about them myself, and these articles are always linked in the description of every single video. As a matter of fact, this article is so on point that I've gotta give Splash Gear props, and I gotta congratulate them for not only pointing out the obvious, but breaking the cycle of negative trash that's usually perpetuated by these types of sites. Now, of course, I'm sure some of you are wondering, what are we even talking about? Well, this article. It says Microsoft are winning the console war even from second place. Now, of course, some of you are wondering, how does that work with uh, math and whatnot existing? Well, this article is referencing features, policies, pro-consumer decisions that you and I benefit from. So while one turd might be saying, 89 million billion sold, another is like, well, I buy one copy and get another game for free on the PC. Which one do you benefit from the most. Now speaking of PC, it's actually one of Splash Gear's reasons that Microsoft are actually winning even from second place. They say while adding their games to PC, while potentially not all that profitable, is still a great move. And what they mean is, hey, do you benefit from this? The answer is yes, every single time. Even if you don't have a rig currently, maybe you get a rig in two years. You'll have all of these Microsoft exclusives to download day one on that rig through something like Play Anywhere, which is Microsoft's cross-buy, cross-play initiative. So at the end of the day, this is very pro-consumer, no matter how you want to look at it. And keep in mind, Microsoft do not make money off of console sales. There is a very slim margin there. They make their money off of software sales. So if you want the best for Xbox, if you're one of those types of people, you definitely want them to sell more games. And this is a good way to do so. But of course, every pro-consumer program has its naysayers. Now unfortunately, some of the radicals on the other platform use this as a negative against Xbox fans. And this is due to the fact that they have been unable to see themselves. They are not self-aware. These are the types of people that enjoy a game more knowing that you have to have their platform to play it. That's just really, really odd to me. It really is mind-blowing if you think about it. Here you are buying the Xbox copy of something like Middle Earth Shadow of War. You get another copy for absolutely free on PC. This is already a $120 value. Add to that the flexibility of playing anywhere you want at any fidelity you want. Meanwhile, on the PlayStation platform, they buy a game, they're locked to that one box at that one fidelity with that one option. Somehow many Sony fans consider this a win and a good thing. Splash Gear continue by talking about Game Pass. Not only is Game Pass a phenomenal value, but it is literally moving the industry forward. And this is something I very much agree with Splash Gear on. Game Pass, almost 200 games, sometimes more than 200 games for 10 bucks a month. Play as much as you want. Now some would say, why would you spend 15,000 bucks for 5 billion years of Game Pass and come out not owning anything? Trust me, if you are signing up for Game Pass, you know that you do not own these games. It is essentially the world's best rental service. And Splash Gear know this. They've actually said it's moved the industry forward, and I agree with them. They double down on this by talking about how it pretty much caused PlayStation Now to include downloadable PS4 titles, which is an absolute fact. And that is, as I've said before, the reason we promote competition here on the channel. You do not want either of these brands to go down. They also go in on the Xbox adaptive controller for a little bit, but we all know the obvious benefits of enabling anybody to play on your platform. Finally, for the first time ever, something like this is officially supported on a major console, and those who needed a controller like this now have access to it. It's a great thing, and I think that's common sense as to why it's another reason Microsoft are ahead, even though they're behind. At the end of the day, the bottom line is Microsoft are giving you more than Sony in a lot of different areas. 
I've talked over and over and over again about games like God of War and Spider-Man, phenomenal games that are not on Xbox. And don't get me wrong, every platform has its games. But it is fair to say that Sony has had the game's edge for the past couple years now. But I think this is all going to change especially with the acquisition and creation of a combined seven new studios. As I've said before, Microsoft have gone links to double their creative talent in the last six months alone. Now, of course, this does not mean that Sony are going to magically stop producing great games. No, they are going to continue to invest. They are going to double down on what has led them to success. But it does mean that Microsoft are going to join them in creating bigger and better AAA games. And I cannot wait to see this battle unfold. Keep in mind, as fans, we benefit from competition. As this article mentioned, Game Pass is the reason you can download PlayStation games on PlayStation Now. PlayStation Plus is the reason that we have games with gold. And Microsoft's horrible 2013 Xbox reveal is the reason, the thing that led to such pro-consumer decisions. They're really starting to shake things up, and I can't wait to see where they go from here. And when I'm hearing from more and more sources that they have more and more funds available for not only great hardware next generation, but a blank check for games as well, that has me extremely excited as an Xbox fan. So yeah, this article does shine a little extra light on the Xbox box over the PlayStation platform. And you know what? I think it's okay, given how rare it actually is to see from a lot of these websites. I'd be interested to see what you guys think down below. And I think the article did a great job at highlighting some of the strengths of the Xbox brand. So let me know what you guys think down below. If you enjoyed the footage, this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey running on the Xbox One X. It looks absolutely phenomenal, as you might expect for an Xbox One X game. But I am using it because the game is on sale right now. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, pick this game up any way you can. It is so much better than any other Assassin's Creed and completely different from Assassin's Creed Origins, despite the fact that they look kind of similar. So, once again, let me know what you guys think down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or learned something here today. Share this with a buddy or two, and of course, if you're into this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. I'm Dealer. I'm out.